So y'all check it out. I got some good juice for y'all. You ready? I'm coming out with a butter sauce. You heard me right. I'm coming out with a butter sauce. Hell, I might as well. Y'all do it. All y'all make butter sauce. I ain't never in my life seen so many people make butter sauce. Like, damn, y'all true to the game. Y'all true to that butter sauce game. Y'all some butter sauce making motherfuckers. For real, for real. I'm like, damn, yo. But I thought about something though. I'm gonna make my butter sauce a little more different. I got a secret recipe. I got a secret recipe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Debo's butter sauce. Look out for it, goddamn. No, I ain't gonna do that. That sounds like way too much work. I'll let y'all do that. I'll buy y'all. So y'all represent them butter sauce. I mean, damn. <laughs> Vibes out here, man. We have a good time. We're smoking cigars. We're doing it big out here, man. Y'all keep watching this show. Let's go. You already know. My homie Peter Brown right here, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm Debo. Who? Debo. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Debo Vibes right here. And thank you so much for coming by the Debo Vibes channel. The channel for 1990s hip hop and RB lifestyle foodies like you, me, and we. I, I had to. I had to. You know what I'm saying? At least once a month, probably twice a month, probably three times a month. I gotta get my KFC. Today, I gotta get my grub on. I got two thighs. Love me thighs. Love me some dark meat. Yeah, I said it and I meant it. <laughs> Love me some thighs, love me some dark meat. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I got two thighs. Actually, I got a special. It should have been a thigh and a leg, but I asked for two thighs, so they hooked me up. You know what I'm saying? Got a biscuit, and we got, of course, their mashed potatoes and gravy. You know what I mean? And I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm gonna get straight to it, y'all, because your boy is starving. I ain't nothing all day. You know what I mean? And we're gonna chop it up a little bit. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna dive right in. And... We got a 1990s topic, and we got Cigar Chronicle. Stick around for Cigar Chronicle. I know you're going to love it. I'm going to go down memory lane. I might start crying a little bit. I'm fighting by the tears right now, but I'm going to make it, goddamn, because I'm a G. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and eat y'all, because I'm your boy. Start getting this out of the way right quick. You know what I'm saying? So got, got this thigh right here. So we got a thigh. KFT's the biggity band right there for y'all. You know what I mean? And of course, what I like to do is I like to take a little bit off, like so, put some mashed potatoes on it, like so. You know what I'm saying? I say, hey, it's a fat boy, man. And of course, got a little biscuit right here. So here's the first bite right here that I'll be doing, y'all. All right. So let's eat. Cheers. Hungry. For sure. I gotta do some hot sauce in that mug. Hot sauce with everything, actually. All day. All day. But uh, before we proceed, y'all, gotta give a big time shout out to the homie, True TTV. True TTV came through uh, last week, and we chopped it up. We we did a banging live. Live was a, live was hysterical, y'all. And we also did a video when he ate some sharks. We just vibed out. We talked we talked about the West Coast and everything, y'all. You know what I mean? And yes, look at that grease. Look at that grease. Hell to the air. Uh. So, oh. to the homie True, West Coast all day long. Y'all already know what the deal is. And the thing about it is, y'all, we just come across some awesome content creators like Coco TTV. You get, you get to meet their family. 
I mean, you know, that's how me and True hooked it up. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, shout out to the entire TTV family, y'all. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, my God. Pepsi, y'all. Hey, I know I'm in Coca-Cola country down here in Atlanta, where Coca-Cola is God, Coca-Cola ain't nothing compared to Pepsi. Yeah, I said. Everybody lag out there. Just saying. Just saying. And speaking of that live that me and, and True did, we uh talked about what would y'all do if y'all won the lottery, right? And y'all gave some people who went on live. Y'all gave some pretty interesting comments. Uh, I already told y'all. If I ever hit the lottery, your boy, I'm getting stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ignorant drunk. <laughs> stupid drunk. Yo. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I, how about I make a butter sauce? How about that? If I want to make a million, I make a butter sauce. Y'all some butter sauce making motherfuckers, man. But yeah, check, check that live out. Check that live out that me and, me and True did. You'll be glad you did. Trust. Now, we do have a 19 nice topic, y'all. And much like some other topics I've been talking about, I don't know what it took me so long to get this one. I don't be honest with you. Because when, when this song came out, in 1991 y'all when this song came out in 1991 when i tell you these these cats came with it they came with it and i just say me personally y'all it's one of the best love songs or, or I, I put it's pretty much love song you know what i'm saying or a begging song no ain't no begging song because keep sweating and do it um <laughs> But this is one of this, you know what this the, this song is. This is one of the main songs of where when you hear the intro off the rip, you know what it is because you know you be having those songs like when you hear the intro, you know what I'm saying? Like you already know what the song is just for the first millisecond, you know what I mean? Where the camera at right here, D drunk ass Debo, there the camera go, you know what I mean? So. Uh... That was requested. Some <laughs> sick bastard told me to do that. Yeah. So, when y'all hear the intro of this song, y'all already know what it is. Oh, today's 1990s topic is the one, the only. I told y'all. I told y'all. Damn. That's gonna have copyright claim written all over it. <laughs> Il Marido. Today's topic is guy. Let's chill. Let's chill. So the guy came out with Let's Chill and I'm gonna say 1991. And it came out their album The Future, which has some banging hits, y'all. I think I had one dog me out, uh, want to get with you, all of them join. But let's go without saying, y'all. Let's chill was the joint for 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 on that on that um album, and to this day, it's the joint. I mean, to this day, it's the joint. Here y'all go, man. Here your piece of skin right here for y'all. There yo. From your boy to you. Say ah. Say ah. Say ah, goddamn. There, there you go. Bang. Yeah. So when God came out with Let's Chill, it was, it was a smooth because, you know, God was the personification of uh, New Jack Swing. You know what I'm saying? With Teddy Riley doing the beats. 
but then they slow shit and were groove me, you know, groove, groove me back and back in like 88, 89. These boys came with less chill and slowed it down. Females love that shit. No boy, y'all females love that shit. Stay tuned to the Cigar Chronicle. I got something I want, I'm going to let y'all know about. But the thing about let's chill is that they incorporated a word from the, from a banging word, a, a, a synonymous word in the 90s to their song. Everybody used the word chilling. Everybody said chilling. Oh, chilling, chilling. Let's chill. Which was genius. But of course it was genius because you had Teddy Riley. In my opinion, in my opinion, total side note, Teddy Riley is one of the under under um underrated musical talents of all, of, of ever of all time. We think about what that man did with Guy and then flipped it with a Rex and Effects. And then flipped it again to Black Street. All right. But the crazy thing about Let's Chill, or the crazy thing about the whole album, but especially with Let's Chill, since Aaron Hall was the main one, the lead vocals, that man had hair. That man had hair. Because we, I know Aaron Hall from his, you know, I Miss You days pretty much when he went solo. You know what I'm saying? Those days, you know what I'm saying? That's that, you know what I'm saying? With a bald head look. All right? That nigga had hair. You know what I mean? Well, you know, everybody had banging hairstyle back in the day. Matter of fact, stay tuned! I'm going to show you my hairstyle I had back in 91. Sure will. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you a little bit right now. You're my cigar chronicle. Excuse me. But... Let's Chill was really a song that anybody can vibe out to. You know what I'm saying? Even the fellas vibed out to it. Well, let me tell y'all something. Fellas, y'all already know what the deal is. When it was that time for you to find, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to hook up with a female. You know what I'm saying? Okay, oh, firstly, now it was one of the females was, was that time. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You found, you know what I'm saying? Do the kick it with? I'm done, y'all. Let's chill. Let's chill. All right, let's chill. There's a song you can play for any occasion. Well, not any occasion. I ain't talking about like you can play no damn let's chill during a fucking football game or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Like, you know, just saying. Spade party. A tonk party. A bones party. All that. Okay. Don't play on, don't play on let's chill around a bunch of fellas by themselves. That'd be kind of like weird. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, all that. You know what I'm saying? So, not the night topic. All right. Clean the bone. Clean the bone. You know what I mean? God, let's chill. Y'all, I'm stalling, y'all. I really am. I want to tell y'all about my cigar crime for what happened to me. Because I'm going to start crying. I'm about to start crying right now. She did me wrong, yo. She did me wrong. Where my cigar at, man? So I, uh, <laughs> so I, I promised y'all I'd show y'all a picture of me back in 1991, right? And this picture actually has some like, some kind of significance with guys. Let's chill. So I'm gonna show y'all this picture right quick. Here y'all go. This is me back in summertime 1991. There y'all go. You want me to see it again? One more time? All right, a little more slower this time, a little more slower. There you go. There you go. Aww. Your boy. Your boy. So here's the deal with, with that little outfit I had on. It was an Oakland A short set. Of course it was. And the story behind that is I, my, we, me and my brother went to Discount Mall 
up in North Las Vegas. That was like that was like the spot to be uh, back in Dizze. And um, I got that short set. He got an L.A. King short set. So we just thought we had it going on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the story behind that is like uh, probably like a week after I got that short set. I took the picture. This one fly girl. This girl is so damn fine, man. One of the finest girls at Chaparral High School. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what I'm saying? She lived in the neighborhood and she saw me. This is like really when I started, you know what I'm saying, blossoming. Cause I was, I was like an ugly duckling. You know what I'm saying? If y'all saw me back in the day, you know, I was real ugly, man. That, that's what left my self esteem. Well, I, I thought I was just the ugliest kid in the world. And so, but then I blossomed to who I am right now. Ah, uh, ah, uh, to thou. So she said, um, damn boy, you look fly. She was like, you start to look fly. You start to look fly. You know what I mean? When she said that, she was playing Let's Chill uh, uh, Guy in the background. So I think, I'm thinking myself, wow, you know, I got it going. I'm strutting and stuff like that. My little, my little ass. And um, I'm just strutting. So every time I saw her, I was like, yeah, you still think I'm fly? She's like, ha ha, yeah, you fly, okay. Your boy had no game. I had no game. So every time I saw her, I'm like, you still think I'm fly? <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah, okay. I had to watch her like, yeah, okay, nigga, what's up? So we, we was in typing class. We was in typing class, keyboard class. And it was one time, my sorry ass walked up with her ass again. And she was like, you know I'm fly. <laughs> and she said, damn nigga, you look fly, but you sound retarded. She said that shit for the whole class, man. I got clowned on. I got clowned on. And then she never spoke to me ever again and shit. She like, just like, she like avoided me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real awkward. Real awkward. <laughs> yeah, that happened to your boy, man. But you know what I'm saying? And it, it affected me. I still talk about that stuff to this day. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's all to the G though. It's all to the G, man. You know what I mean? But yeah. Crazy times in high school, man. But the difference is, we, if I still, okay, if we're looking at about 30 years later, then shit, over 30 years later, if I'm still thinking about that shit, it must have left an impression on my ass. It is what it is, though. It is what it is, y'all. But, yep. God, let's chill. That, that, that song, that, that song was a song back in the day. That song was a song back in the day. She, but real talk, man, she ain't gotta do all that. I'm, I'm, I'm more thinking about, I'm gonna start getting pissed the fuck off. She called her retarded. She straight called your boy retarded. It's all good. I ain't scarred by it, though. Because look at me now. Ha, ha, look at me now, crazy girl. I wonder what she up to these days. Her fine ass. Anyway, it's your boy Debo right here. Thank you so much for coming by. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. You know what I'm saying? Smile, be happy. You're breathing, you're smiling, you're talking. So let's be happy with life. You know what I mean? And with that being said, we will vibe out soon. Alright? Alright. Uh, it's your boy Debo right here. You know what I'm saying? And as always, love y'all from the depths of my soul. Do great things. I see greatness in you because you see greatness in me. Alright? And as always, y'all, respect, love, and peace. Oh.